Hi everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin. I'm here with another design team project for Pro31 Designs. So I have started a mini album and I thought I would share the first page with you because of course it takes me a long time to complete mini albums because I rarely get solid time to craft. I do things in bits and pieces because I'm just, yeah, really, really busy. So anyway, I thought I'd share this first page with you. Um, so right off the bat, the paper I use for this is, and I broke it out finally, the um, McKenna is the name from Kane Company. So there's a look at the papers there. So I decided to use this, so definitely girly girl. Um, and I've done kind of like a, um, I'll show you when I open it here in a second, but it's sort of like a pocket page using 12 by 12 papers. I've done a tutorial on how I've created those pages, so I will post that for those of you who are interested. Um, uh, but the covers are chipboard and I've just added the paper on there and I've sanded off the edges and then added um, dusty, no, uh, sorry, Victorian velvet pink um, distress ink along the edges. I used the one and a half inch binding rings and bound it with my bind it all just because I plan on making it chunky so I wanted lots and lots of rings there. So just to kind of, sorry about the glare there, <laughs> um, to show you guys first of all I've I put some seam binding. This was the original color of the seam binding, so this nice cream color. And then, um, so I used some of that and I just crinkled it um, using water my heat tool. And then this one here I used a combination of um, spun sugar and worn lipstick um, distress ink and crinkled it to get kind of a two-tone pink look. The camera isn't really picking it up, but it's really pretty. I love how it turned out. So I tied those in bows and then I also um, incorporated a bit of this sort of a cream butter color um, string pearls and then I added a um, all of these metal butterflies are from Studio G from Michaels they're the butterfly butterfly charms and then I also added this charm here this heart one I had in my stash it's really really pretty love that and then of course I added the um, chandeliers diamond drop um, from Pro 31 in pink as well as the chandelier um, teardrop in the clear so I love using those those little baubles you guys are so much fun to just hang and oh it just makes it so shabby chic looking I love it so anyways this of course um, as you turn pages will move so it's not like it's stuck in one spot so that's really pretty um, and then um, let's start down here so I've done a whole bunch of stuff here. <laughs> so the, this is some box pleated trim I had in my sash and you can find that at Pro31designs as well. And um, by the way, I'll post the links to all of the Pro31design products um, that I used in the description box below, so check that out. Um, then of course the teardrop um, trim in the cream color, also from Pro31designs. And then this beautiful gorgeous braided trim, um, the satin, the pink satin one from Pro31designs as well love that so I kind of layered that all together like the way that looks and then um, these flowers here are from I Am Roses and I just distressed these uh, white ones here with the um, Victorian velvet and added you guys probably can't see it but um, my perfect pearls and waters um, glimmer mist that I made and I also painted the glimmer mist um, perfect pearls on these beautiful acrylic rose or I'm um, porcelain rosebuds that I had as well and you can also find the porcelain rosebuds at Pro31designs and then I also um, sprayed those with the glimmer mist as well oh I just love the shine it's too bad that the camera really doesn't pick it up that much but anyway um, these flowers actually these are really cool I found these at my local dollar store um, well actually I was with Joanne and she found them um, I don't know if you can make it up they look like that I also got them in pink look like this and they also have some organza ones and then they have the ones with the stamens and organza the bling and the satin swirl so that's what they look like so I found those I love those and love the way they turned out with this project um, I just hung this little heart charm I had in my stash this is one of those 3d acrylic um, like crystal very dimensional flowers that Pro 31 design sells and I just took off the rhinestone center and I added a little pink rosebud in there and then the flower in the background um, I showed this one quickly in my homemade or handmade 
um, paper gardenia tutorial. Um, this was one that um, the inspiration I got from Leonie and then um, she got the inspiration from this blog and <laughs> again I can't remember the name of that blog but I can post it down below and um, I love love that flower so that's super cool and it was just using my retro my large retro punch flower punch from EK success so I made that dimensional flower in the back I think it's three layers thick and then I added the acrylic flower on top of that and then of course I made my bead sprays that I've been doing like crazy and um, this one here these little clear ones are from pro 31 designs so again I'll post a link to those and I actually just split it up so I put some on that side and then some in this side here you can kind of see popping up here and then again um, my homemade spray I made using some beautiful glass um, uh, pearl beads and then I added some more butterflies there and then some um, swirl bling here and I did a quick tip tutorial on how I easily apply my swirl bling um, some of you may do that already but anyway check out my quick tip it's super easy it's it prevents it from you know sticking all over the place and having to take it off put it back on to get it in the right spot so I did a tutorial on that so I'll post that shortly um, here's just Martha, Martha Stewart butterfly punch I, and it comes out that one and these little ones and I just added bling distressed it and add it to there again more bling there and then this is one of those um, uh, Michael's frames and it was this horrible lime green <laughs> and I painted it like crazy with acrylic paint distressed it with the dusty or uh, I keep wanting to say dusty concord but that's purple the Victorian velvet distress ink and then again you probably won't be able to pick it up oh it's too bad but I painted over it with some of my perfect pearls and water and it gave it this gorgeous shine and it's too bad you guys can't see it really on camera but anyways there's just a tip if you guys don't do it it's so much fun just mix your perfect pearls with water and you can paint it onto any surface you want to give it a gorgeous shine like a pearlescent shine sorry about the glare you guys my window is right there but this is the best lighting I could get um, and then there's another one of those metal butterflies in the pack and then I have to turn this this way so you guys can see the whole thing. Some more of the swirl bling there. Another little metal butterfly. And then this is a Martha Stewart butterfly I punched out. And then the smaller Martha, Martha Stewart butterfly, which was the same as this one. And I put like this metal flower. I don't know if you guys can make it out that I bent. And put it in the center and then added beads. And then covered the entire thing with glossy accent. So, so it gave this gorgeous shine. And it's quite sturdy too. And then I just glued it onto the corner. And then here um, I added a little charm I got from Lena. She's Sweet Nothings Paper Company. And then again another one of those dollar store ribbon roses. And then some more I Am Roses there. And I glitter misted those as well. And then I just stuck some glass beads in there. And this whole thing actually just slides out. So you can just pop your picture in there. Um, you can use that as a template. And then the whole thing just goes back in. And then, you know, once the picture is in there, you can just permanently adhere it down or you can just leave it like that and I forgot to mention I also added just some random beads as fillers in there as well and I got the inspiration for that from Kelly she's creative Kelly from Kelly and um, I really like how that looked so I think I covered it all and that's the frame so yeah um, let's just show you quickly the inside so the way that this is gonna work is it's kind of like I made them so this is folded and glued using one piece of um, 12 by 12 paper and I've just folded it a few ways to get this like file folder kind of a pocket and then there's also a big huge pocket up here so you get a pocket here one at the top and then one at the other side so it's kind of like a three pocket page kind of a thing so I did that with each one of these and you know I just punched it out there with each one of these pages all from the same paper collection I really love and it works best of course using double sided paper because um, the double sided pattern will show when you fold it over so this is all one piece of paper no cuts just the folds and gluing and then just the punch at the top super easy I really like how that came out and I had fun creating it so that is the mini album so far and then that's just the back so I hope you guys like it and um, stay tuned and I will post um, a video when I've completed it. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Take care. Bye now.